so sorry about the wind, I'll get close. So that may seem like absolutely nothing right there. But this dog can't walk on a leash. Like she don't just pull, she pulls, she runs, she takes off. So the only thing I did there, you saw it's very subtle, but where people go wrong, <coughs> they focus on that issue, the pulling. So in the past 24 hours, all the little things I did with her, which wasn't much, leads up to me being able to make some progress with that, okay? So up until this point, the only thing I've done with her, I'll work the doorways because I have to use what she gives me. She's not gonna take food. I'm not gonna give her any attention. I can't do any of that. She's really shut down. And so I work the doorways. When the doorway opens, she wants to bolt out. Like not just go because hey, I'm happy. She wants to take off. <coughs> and so I work the doorways. Then I walk her to the grass and I work on the release command. She has to understand a release command because now I'm rewarding her by allowing her to go to the bathroom. She just doesn't know she's being rewarded. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, allergies. So I take those little things. Also, Luca normally ignores all dogs that he can care less. He has no interest in dogs. But when a dog struggles with anxiety and fear, Luca goes right to them. Okay, it's amazing. He goes right to them and he's very caring to her and she likes Luca a lot. So when I take Luca out, she's in, inside screaming like she doesn't want to lose him. And so I keep her inside right next to Luca. Her pen is right next to Luca's and that helps her quite a bit. So she likes to get back in her pen. She wants to be in there. That's, that's her buddy. But again, if I tried to walk her yesterday and do the right leg swing and everything, it would have been a lot more difficult because she's just pulling as hard as she can. So it's those little things, that's all I've done. And it doesn't seem like much. Sorry if I'm yelling, I know it's windy and this is annoying guys, but you guys asked to see stuff, so I'm gonna try to talk about it. It's all the little things that people ignore before you actually do the training that make all the difference in the world, guys. Makes everything, okay? Um, this dog cannot even come close to walking on a leash and you saw I did hardly nothing there. Very subtle things. But the way you present it to the dog means everything. They get it. And now, now, thanks to me being able to walk her now, now I'll start adding structured walks and that will take away so many of the issues right there. That will lead her to, to tremendous advantages when we start everything else, okay? It really will, it'll make a very big difference because she really is in bad shape and I am concerned how much I can get done with her in two and a half weeks. I hope I get it done and I'll give it everything I have, but it's it's definitely, you know, it's really, really difficult. You saw her outside just with the kids out here, trembling, teeth chattering, shaking, you know, that's, that's rough. I got a lot of work to do. And so I'm very subtle in the little things I do with her that, <laughs> You guys asked me to film, but you know, I'm gonna get booed off YouTube and Facebook if I film all these things because it, it's gonna look like nothing to everyone. You know what I mean? So I wanted to show you a little something at least of how she is on the leash 24 hours later without doing anything, you know, and that I'm very, very happy with that, you know, but she's starting to engage with me a little bit more at the doorways and waiting to go to the bathroom because that's where her mind was, so I'm just using that. I'm not allowing her to move forward when she's trying to escape. I'm asking her to give me something. And when she gives me something that she normally wouldn't, she gets rewarded by going to the bathroom. All dogs have to go to the bathroom. They may not eat, they may not take food, they may not want praise. All dogs have to go to the bathroom. So it's not the first time that I had to use their potty breaks as a reward. And it's very effective for the dogs that are in really bad shape. Your dog has to have a release command, guys. If they don't, how are they supposed to know when they have to be in command? It's very, very important. It seems so silly, but it's very important, okay? Peace.